In this video, we are going to be looking at the best settings for Xbox console. It's one of the videos that DPJ wanted me to make for you guys straight away so that you all get the best experience that you can out of the game. And he cares so much about you that I thought, you know, I'm going to do it for him because he asked me so nicely. So make sure you hit the like button and subscribe to the channel because even though I am covering right now, DPJ will be back with loads of Starfield content as well. And if you want to check out my channel, you can. I'll link it down below, but you don't have to. A lot of the videos are going to be the same until he comes back anyway. But let's get into it. So right now you can see that if I walk around and look around, this is the kind of gameplay that you're seeing right now. A lot of motion blur, a lot of film grain. There's a lot of things you need to change in the settings, in my opinion, to make the game look better. So we're going to go in there and have a look now. So once we go to settings, by the way, the UI on this game is gorgeous. Let's go into gameplay. Just very quickly, I wanted to show you this because you can have automatic saves in everything you want to have it. So if there's any bugs or crashes or anything like that, you're very likely not going to lose your save points. I'm going to change the save on pause to five minutes just that it's always saving and I'm never gonna lose my game. Next up, we go into display and this is the things you need to change straight off the bat. Let's turn off motion blur, that sickening turn blur that you get when you're running around. And let's turn off the film grain intensity completely. If you wanna have a little bit for a little bit of a um, cinematic type thing, you can. But as you can see right now, with just the motion blur and film grain intensity off, the game already looks better. It already looks cleaner. It looks smoother. It looks brighter. It's just an all round better experience by putting the film grain out of it and turning off the motion blur. You could turn depth of field off if you want, but there's really no downside to it and it makes the game look better. So I would keep that on myself personally. In the interface, this is completely up to you and how and what you need in the game. I'm going to turn damage numbers on because I like numbers popping up, like Borderlands type numbers every time you hit something. And I think it's just a nice little addition to the game that you can turn on and off if you please. Next up in the control section, this is where you do all of your sensitivity stuff. You are going to figure this out as you're going because there's so many sensitivity options here um that you you know you're just gonna have to play the game and and figure it out for yourself but i do feel that the initial sensitivity is a little bit too high for me so you know once i get into the game myself i'm going to turn it down probably about five to six percent just to kind of get a better control over my character and i'm also going to turn vibration off personally because that's what i enjoy but vibration is there and it feels good it feels strong enough to make you feel like you're immersed in the game a lot of this stuff down here is for when you're building your outpost so you can speed up how you move and how you turn and that's also going to be important but obviously until we get to outpost building i can't really tell you what to do with this and up here you have some controls for your flight so a lot of people like to invert flight i i personally don't like it i can't stand it being inverted i know dpj loves it so he's going to be turning these on um, but right down here, I'm not entirely sure what these are, but the flight stick swap and roll dominant, you know, you can change how your ship handles using your your sticks and stuff as it, as it says on screen. I don't know what it means, but you know, it's going to be important to look at. And then we have bindings, which I love in a game because not every game now, especially for console, has the ability to actually change your keys. Now, the keys right now for me are good. The only thing I don't like is that jump is on Y. However, I have paddles on my controller, so I could just set the paddle to Y and use it as a jump. Toggle POV will change you obviously to first person and uh, third person, which is a very easy little select button. And just in general, you know, everything works well in terms of the controls and running around and moving. I think they've got a really good basic layout, but you can change every single key that you want to what you want it to be. And I love that in a game. Audio, you know, audio, we know what that's about. But I do like the fact that you can actually pull down your footsteps, which I'm going to do to about 80%. Because a lot of games, even though it's immersive, I feel like your own footsteps are, are distracting. And if other people are sneaking up on you or there's aliens running around, you could be able to hear their footsteps a bit clearer. You know when you're in danger. So that's something I'm going to do. Maybe even go a little bit lower than 80%. And then in your accessibility, it's all about subtitles and stuff. Toggle iron sights enable the use of iron sights mode when aiming a weapon as a toggle instead of a hold. So you will be able to, when you aim down sight, 
or as this is what I believe it is because I, I don't know yet I don't have a weapon but once you aim down sight and you're holding the aim button as soon as you let go of that aim button you will come out of the aiming mode that's how it reads to me so I am going to turn that on because I don't want to be stuck in my aiming mode. I hope that's what it means. If I'm wrong, I apologize, but that's what it reads like to me. And those are all the options. And as you can see, the game just already looks better from the initial screen. There's still like a, a little bit of um, performance, but I've heard that performance like in specific areas just has a tiny bit of frame drop. However, in big, large cities, for some reason, it's just smooth as butter, and I am very much looking forward to get to that point. And that is the video. If it helps you out, again, hit that like button, subscribe, and coming up, I'm going to be doing the PC settings also for all you PC players. So, yeah, enjoy. Thank you for watching. I've been easy now. You guys have been awesome. Peace.